becoming realized more and more that humans are actually superorganisms uh, that exist not only of uh, the human being but all of the living things that live within and on us, and, and that is in particular the bacteria. Uh, it turns out that there are trillions of bacteria that exist in our gut, and uh, through metabolism and other metabolic processes that occur in these bacteria, they can actually affect the metabolism of the human vis-a-vis uh, -vis propensity towards uh, storing too much energy and ultimately the development of obesity and uh, uh, some of those chronic uh, complications and diseases that occur from obesity. And some of our research uh, and the research of others around the country are suggesting that different people have different bacterial constituents in their guts and those bacteria may affect metabolism in either beneficial or adverse ways. Uh, and uh, the idea here is to understand more about what those bacteria are doing in our guts and to be able to maybe think about ways to manipulate those bacteria to benefit health. One of the approaches that our group uses is to study the Old Order Amish. Uh, they're a founder population in uh, Pennsylvania. Lancaster County tends to be where they live. And so what we've done is we've studied actually um, uh, fecal material from Old Order Amish people. Uh, people who are lean, people who are obese, people who are obese that have some of the metabolic complications like hypertension, diabetes, and uh, high cholesterol levels. And we were able to find that actually individuals who are obese who had some of those complications that I've mentioned actually have some species of bacteria uh, in their guts that lean or obese healthy people tend not to have. And so now we want to understand more about those specific species of bacteria, what they do, and how they may be related to obesity and those metabolic complications.